Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm sharing my Walt Disney World planning binder with you in this highly requested video. So here's what my binder looks like. I've recycled it for the past three trips, but I just change out the information inside as well as the labels on the outside so that it is up to date. This front page I created on canva.com, which is a free online design software, so you could go ahead and create your own if you want. On the inside of my binder, the first thing I have is this little blue pouch, which I got from Walmart for, I think, $1. And on the inside of it, I just like to keep a few things that are smaller items, um, just so that they don't get lost. So the first thing is this Disney Magical Extras card, which is like a discount card from our reservation. Then I have these these little cards that I created with self-laminating little pouches, and these have our tour plans on them from our very first Disney World trip back in 2016. We no longer use these cards, but they were super helpful on that first trip when we really didn't know what we were doing for us to optimize our time in Walt Disney World as well as we spent one day in Universal Studios. So that's something that I do recommend if you're going on your first trip and you really want to optimize your time. I'll talk a little bit more about touring plans in a minute. And then this is what they send, Disney sends right after you book your vacation. And it was nice to keep that as kind of a little souvenir in this pouch. So all those things just go in the front. Also, when we are packing this in our carry-on, this Disney planning binder, we'll also throw like a pen in there. And that's also in that front pouch is where we keep the mouse keeping envelopes um, that have tips in them that I showed in my Disney planning video, which I will link above if you're interested. Then I just have a blank calendar so that I can remember what day of the week corresponds with what day of the month. And then I have our master Disney trip plan. This is what our whole vacation boils down to, this one page. I just created this on Numbers, which is a free software that comes on Mac computers, but you could also use Excel, you could use Google Sheets online. There's a lot of different ways that you could create something like this for your trip. But I just have our days and then our dates, what parks we're going to, the times for the parks, breakfast, lunch, and dinner, fast passes, and then some notes at the bottom. And we email this to ourselves and save it onto our cell phones as well so that we have that information with us on the go. But it's helpful to have it all boiled down into one little sheet. So that goes at the front of my planning binder because that is referenced quite often throughout the planning process. Then on the back of that, I have some, a printout from wdwprepschool.com, which you'll see I have a lot of printouts from her, and that just has information about which parks are best to go to on which days based on crowd levels. Now we're into the tabs. So the very first tab I have is weather, and I print out a weather forecast three days before our trip, right when I'm starting to pack, and I circle the days of the week that we're going to be there, and it just helps me to pack and remember if I need to bring some extra rain gear, some extra layers, if it's going to be cold or warm. Of course, the weather can fluctuate, but it does help me. Now moving on to the next tab, which is confirmation numbers. And of course, this is self-explanatory. It's all the confirmations. So that was our hotel confirmation, all of our dining reservations, our flight reservations and confirmations for our flight are right here. Then we have our Magical Express confirmation numbers and information all on this page. And this Magical Express also has more information about when you get to the Orlando airport and luggage delivery and all that kind of stuff. Then we're into park maps. So I'm a member of WDW Prep School's tiered membership program, and I'm just a bottom level member, but I can still get access to these gorgeous maps of Magic Kingdom, Epcot, Hollywood Studios, and Animal Kingdom. So if you're interested, head over there. I will leave a link below. I also have a driving route map of Disney World because we did rent a car on our first trip. And then I have some information about getting around Disney using their transportation. Moving on to the next tab, we're talking touring plans here. These are all from WDW Prep School. They are from the membership as well. They are how I created those little cards that I showed you in the beginning, and they are awesome. I love these touring plans. We don't follow them as specifically anymore, but if you are wanting to get the most bang for your buck out of your days in Disney, those touring plans are awesome. This last page is just a fast pass priority quick reference, and it just shows you the tiers of fast passes. That's also from WDW Prep School. Then at the very end, I have a menus tab. I used to print out, like on our first trip, I printed out all of the menus of where we were going. I don't do that anymore. I just look on the app, but I do have a little packet of information about the Disney dining plan, which is nice to reference if I ever have questions about anything or something like that. And then just a couple of extra sheet protectors at the end in case any more information comes up that I want to put into this binder. 
So that is my Disney planning binder. It is pretty simplistic, just pretty straightforward, has some information about all different aspects of our trip, but I do like having it all printed out because of course you can access all of this information online. For me, having it printed out and bound into just one easy binder that's small really is helpful to me for planning and kind of reference sake. I also like that we can pop this into our carry-on luggage and when we arrive to Disney World, we have all that information on us. So if for some reason we need to, you know, our hotel reservation, if anything goes wonky or weird, we have those numbers with us. You know how technology can be. Of course, this is all in our email. It's all online. I just have more peace knowing that it's also printed out. So that's helpful. This is also helpful for planning trips year over year. So when we plan our trip for next year, I will be able to look back through this year's and remember how we planned things, what worked, what didn't, and kind of adjust from there. So this is my Disney planning binder. I would love for you to comment below if you have your own Disney planning binder or if you have any questions. Thanks for watching. Bye.